it's me, Pelsbug, hanging on back with another review. Oh man, and this one I've been waiting for, and it is Arms Micron Ultra Magnus. And I just know it's going to be fantastic because it's one of my favorite molds. Ultra Magnus, Prid Ultra Magnus, but it's got the great Takara color. What the? I mean, it's supposed to have like, like nice dark metallic -y colors and be all awesome and shiny and good. It's, it's blue. I mean, it, it, it ain't just blue. I mean, this is like super powder blue. I, I mean, it's a powder. How did, what the, it, it. All right, well. Well, at least the Takara version is going to come with two missiles because, you know, the Hasbro version, it only done come with one. So it must come with two. Let's just go and hand in hand. Just rotate that back and let's see the two missiles that are going to be inside. So, yeah, we see the side there. And uh, hold on, we got the tech specs. So, uh, hold on, hand in hands. Oh, nice new gloves, hand in hands. They look really becoming. All right, so. If you take a look at that, and uh, Ultra Magnus, he doesn't have the strength of a tan, tan the intelligence of an 8, the uh, speed of a 5, endurance of a 9, rank of a 9, courage of a 9, uh, fire blast of a 9, and the skill of a 6. So, yeah, pretty nice. And let's just go to the back, and we can see. How many missiles? There ain't no missile. They done cheated me a missile. I, I mean, all it's got is the Arms Micron in the back. It's got a Arms Micron Uruma. Uruma. Yeah, well, I don't care about Uruma. I want my I want my missiles. I mean, I, I'm cheated by this. What done happened? I, I mean. The Hasbro version is better. What? It done happened again. I mean, there must be a strange alignment of the moon or something. But man, it done happened again. You had Boudora. Oh man, I want to think about that. Boudora. And now, Ultra Magnus. And you just have to look at them and guess what? He's powder blue. Two, the sequel. Come into a shop near you. Already done been come there, but maybe you can pick it up on sale now. So, uh, yeah, let's uh, open them up and uh, take a look at my favorite mold for Ultra Magnus in Nass Powder Blue. Oh, there's something wrong going on. All right, let's go. All right, and I thought I'd start with this. This is a uh, Ultra Magnus's Arms Micron, and it's really yeah. Arms Micron. You get some that are cool and some that are like this, and this one really doesn't do anything for me. I mean, you take a look at it. It really, you know, doesn't have anything as far as articulation. His arms don't even move up. They'll just move back, which is transformation. His legs, they can move forward, and he does have a knee. But you've got this uh, post joint that really interferes, and really you're not going to be posing this into anything. I mean, so it's just a brick. You know. um, transformation is real easy. Take this, flip the hammer part, the handle part around. Then we gotta come and move this. Wait, no. Take the legs, and the legs are gonna go. And we're gonna fold the legs. So we're gonna move the legs forward, start to fold them a little bit. And we just move the move the uh, hammer part back. Like this. Close them off. Yeah. So two arms go like this. Now this back part flips down into there. 
So the leg is just going like that from this position to here. And then you have his hammer. And really, it's nothing impressive. I mean, especially when you consider, all right, we'll go, we'll do a compare. All right, we have the Hasbro version, Ultra Magnus's rifle. Starts in the rifle, and of course, it has a transformation. And his transformation is to the hammer, which you pull down, take this, oh man. And lock this in a place right here. You know, and then you have the awesome hammer. And I when you look at this hammer and you look at this little you know little hammer, I mean come on. In every way this is superior. Also just to show you this ha this has the uh, repro label stickers on it. In case you're wondering. So normally you don't have all these stickers on it, but uh yeah, put on the repro labels, and they are awesome. So, yep, there it is, and there it is. So let's get to the bots. All right, and here we have Ultra Magnus in his vehicular mode. And I know he's boxy, but this reminds me of Car Robots 2000 or the original Robots in Disguise line from 2000, 2001. And I mean, why Ultra Magnus? I mean, it's based off of that. And I love that because it's actually Car Robots 2000 that brought me back to collecting Transformers. So seeing Ultra Magnus in this form is pretty nice. You know, and of course, you take your, his arms micron hammer and you put it here. Or of course, you could, nope, you could put it like this to the side. And of course. I don't know why, but you could. Yeah, or you can lean this and put it like this. Um, whatever you want to do with it, you can. It's not really useful. Uh, let me just put that up. So let me put it back this way and do a little compare. And of course, you compare that with uh, yeah, the uh, Hasbro version. You know. And for me, I will usually put the gun up top. Actually, I don't really use that there. But in, in vehicle mode, I will take my two missiles and put them there. You know, which I think really looks good as missile launcher. And you could see the difference um, between the two. And this one does have the uh, repro label sticker. So it's not really a fair comparison. But it's... And interestingly enough, the uh, Takara version has a very dull red, but the Hasbro version has a little bit of sheen to it. So, very interesting that these things happen with this, these toys. Okay, and uh, we can go to the side and take a look. And you can see where the Hasbro had that uh, coloring here, and Takara just didn't, didn't do it. You know, and so, yeah, you can see. Now, the, for the smokestacks, it is stickers from repro labels. That's why there's uh, silver there and nothing here. But, uh, yeah, when you look at these guys, you can see, you know, of course, same in the back. In the back, Hasbro version didn't have any colors, but uh, repro labels provides that. So, all the way around. But it's, they roll nice. It's a nice vehicle, like I said, for me. Double missile. Missile launcher in the back is awesome. Alright, but, yep. So, excellent vehicle mode. I enjoy it. It rolls. Does what it's supposed to do. And let's take him into his robot mode. Okay, right. so, of course, first thing we're going to do is take off his arms Micron. And once we do that, we're going to go and we are going to separate the legs back here. Alright, let's separate legs back here. Don't worry. And we're going to pop that. And pop that. You do it by pushing it, push out on the arm and push in at the leg. And then you straighten out the legs. First thing I do 
right there. Okay, next thing we're going to do is we're going to come up to the front and we're going to separate the front. Separate like that side side and flip this one back and we can go and rotate the arms back like this. All right, let me move the camera up a little bit. All right, so we have them like this. Okay, of course we're going to go take the shoulders, move the shoulders down, rotate the shoulders down, flip his uh, hand out over here, flip the other hand out, and then we just close this part here and do the same thing here. You have his arm folded out like this, and we just close it right there, and we have his arms like this. Okay, now you push. Now, one thing is with the shoulders, you push, oh wait a moment, because his back is not in all the way. Yeah, it's one of those things where you gotta, because his, his backpack goes from being up here to bringing it down. And sometimes it does not get into the right position. And if it's not in the right position, his shoulders won't lock in because his shoulders should yeah right there there it goes there it's locked in there and if you can see right here so there's a little hold on there is a small tab right here and then there's a groove here and that is where it tabs in and if you get limed up, it'll tab in, and his shoulders will stay, and you won't have problems with his shoulders. Because a lot of people do. All right, now we're almost done. Feet go like this, like this. Now, a lot of people will leave them like this, but no, nope, you got to get the uh, wheels. And I think this is awesome. All right, so you come to the bottom of the feet, you untab it, and you're going to swing some people like to leave it out, but I like to fold them in. So you swing this around. I almost forgot here too. Push these down. That's right. Okay, so this swings around and just locks in like that. Same thing here. So you go to the bottom, pop it out, rotate, and then it just clicks right together. And there you have, in his robot mode, Ultra Magnus. And it's awesome. I mean, I love this robot mode. I do not appreciate the color, the uh, the powder blue, but man, I do like this toy. I mean, I have, as far as articulation goes, he's got his shoulder can go all the way around. Now, if you have problems, sometimes people put in, and I'm going to use the heavy gun because it can hold that little hammer, but okay. For example, the arm. You know, when you put out the arm, very often it'll go down. Okay. Things you can do is you can kind of beat the system by catching this behind that. And then, when you have the arm sitting out, it will not fall. Because you got it locked behind there. It's a solution, you know, where you can have him in better poses if you lock it because if you just have it like this well you know it will drop down even though the uh, arms micron does have a better joint it's uh, still not enough to hold that so just something for you to think about and once again sometimes shoulder does pop out okay but I mean it's, so that shoulder he has a uh, swivel under he can go 360 there of course, he's got the elbow, and his uh, his hand is on a ball joint, so right there. Okay, next things we have, he does have waist articulation, which really surprises me that they went through with that. But he does have waist. He it is hindered by his backpack, but they did give him waist, so he can do some things. Okay, legs will go straight up. They'll go back a bit. But again, hindered by the backpack. And he has a swivel under the hip. So there's a lot you can get. And he's got the knee is 90 degree. 
and he's got a little bit of tilt in the foot. So really you can get a lot out of him. You can get a lot out of this character and it is awesome. Now I'm going to quick take out the uh, Hasbro version and we'll do a quick compare with Hasbro version. And, All uh, right, and here we have Arms Macron and the uh, Hasbro version. If you notice, the uh, Takara version does have light piping, whereas the Hasbro does not because, you know, they painted those eyes with that yellow green. But man, does that Hasbro version look good. And when we look at them both together, let me back them up a little bit. You can really see how much better the Hasbro version does look. And yes, I do know it has the repro labels, which help immensely in the disparity between those two. But really, that blue color, that that powder blue, just don't work for uh, Ultra Magnus. This is the proper color for Ultra Magnus, not this color and I will even say this the arms micron is a lighter shade maybe one or two degrees lighter than uh, the beast hunters and that's saying something so really you know they really must up on the colors on them. mold wise though I would say this is the superior mold for me I don't really enjoy this one I like it it's one of the toys I like and I'm going to keep them around because I do like it but uh, it's not one of my favorite molds. Now if you ask me which which uh, Ultra Magnus is the one that I display and really all right, this is it it's the Hasbro version. The Hasbro version this one right here is the one that I'm like yep this guy's it because this is really the best I think representation of Ultra Magnus. I, I love this mold. It's one of my favorites. And really, if I think through uh, the Ultra Magnus molds that we've had, I would consider this probably my favorite. You know, and that's saying something. This is my favorite one. I do like God Magnus, you know, or Ultra Magnus from R.I.D., but his legs are too long and this one just seems to really capture what I, what I love about the character you know and I do love the G1 brick but for me I think this might be my favorite and it would be the Hasbro version with the repro labels and two missiles right but the arms micron is nice but flawed because you know you get much more with the, the Hasbro version so uh, let's get to the summation. All right, let's go. All right, time for the summation. Well, I'm a bit confused on this one because, well, I done loves, loves, loves the mold. I mean, it's a fantastic mold. And to its credit, I will say it does have a better joints than the Hasbro version. But the colors, lack of missiles, and even lack of paint apps. Oh, are you short of Takara? Yeah, it is. I mean, wow. I, it's really the Hasbro version done beat it in every way. Now, that in no wise means that this is a bad toy. No, on the contrary, it's still an excellent toy, and I loves it. But compared to the Hasbro version, it just doesn't match up. I mean, wow. I'm just like so amazed by this. And I have to say, it worries me if uh, Takara done make a uh, Beast Hunters Ultra Magnus. Are they going to give them even lighter colors? I mean, I was kind of hoping for the darker colors on the Takara. But, but it just doesn't go to show you. Just because it doesn't say Takara, don't mean it's going to be better. But uh, so what do I think about Arms Micron Ultra Magnus? 
Is he nice? Yes. Is he shiny? Well, that powder blue done, done put a dampener on it, but yeah, he's shiny. Is he good? Yes, he is good. Now, now is he the kind of toy you just gotta have? Um, not gotta have it. Because if your choice is the easily available um, PRID version or the harder to get Arms Micron and possibly more expensive Arms Micron, well, I would say, you know, you go with the Hasbro version over there. You'll be happy. And get the Repro labels. I can't recommend that enough. But as far as nice, shiny, and good to eat, well, uh, I'll give it a shot. <coughs> oh, man, he done taste good. He just lacks the beautiful colors over here. Nice, shiny, good missiles. Nice hammer. I mean, I just got to go. Oh, man, it's an Ultra Magnus Feast. Ultra Magni? Ultra Magnus's Feast. Man, it's just done delicious. No powder blue, even though you fell down. Nope. I'm not going to eat you. All right. Nice, shiny, and good toys. Um, bye.